I don't think we can be prescriptive about what a poet should or shouldn't do or how a poet or a writer or any artist should, should respond to a particular situation, um, upheaval, tragedy, trauma, oppression, whatever. I think it's about the individual consciousness of, of the artist um, and um, how that artist um, is moved or not moved in, 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 in some cases by whatever is, is going on. I myself came to poetry through politics. And I've said this before that um, poetry for me was a, um, a cultural weapon in the black liberation struggle. I saw it as my responsibility to write about what was going on. And um, in a sense, I was cr chronicling um, black history in Britain as that history was being made. And um, that's all, and you know, I couldn't afford the luxury of art for art's sake. But I, I think we can't um, be prescriptive about what artists should do or how they should respond to any given situation. Amilcar Cabral uh, wrote about the importance of culture, for example, in um, black liberation struggles, that the political and the cultural you know, go hand in hand together. In general, I tend to agree with that. But as I said, it's, 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 it's down to the individual artist's consciousness and how that artist is moved by any given situation.